All right. For this third tutorial, I'll be going to Google Slides for the iPhone. Google Slides is pretty simple. It's about, um, excuse me, not about, but it's for PowerPoint slides through Google, which can be easy to navigate and use. Um, we'll open up one that I had from undergrad. And as you can see, it's pretty, this one's pretty simple. Um, typical PowerPoint, nothing too complicated. This is the mobile version as well. So um, you can also edit and do everything that you would do on a desktop version. <clears throat> and to open and start one, you hit the plus sign in the bottom right corner. Then you go to new presentation, have a name for it, and now I'll put demo for it. Create. And then this is how you start, you tap the add title. You put whatever, so put demo. By Sterling. And then you check mark the top so that close out the typing. And then um, to the right, not the very bottom right, but right above it, this is how you create a new slide. Then you have different slides to select from. And you, um, excuse me. Back. And then you can view previous ones and also goes to the one that was last opened by the user. And you can change that to last modified by me, name, or last modified in general. And then the top right corner is how you go to your Google Drive and see any PowerPoints that may have also been shared with you. I would um, definitely recommend this for any school. It's fairly simple to use. I would incorporate it into class by having students use it if they are not completely comfortable with a Microsoft PowerPoint or any type of other um, presentation app.